Hello there, legendary makeup artist Lisa Eldridge knows how to spoil us and this year she surprised us with five brand new eyeshadow palettes and five new true velvet lipstick shades. Beyond my wildest rosy, brownie berry, coppery dreams and well worth the middle of the night alarm. Part of me can't even believe she's gone from those three red lipsticks in late 2018 to almost a complete makeup routine four years later. So in my seventh Lisa review I'll be sharing two of her stunning palettes palettes, Muse and Cinnabar, and three new lipsticks, Velvet Rain, Velvet Enchantment, and Velvet Sorcery. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. It's been great working with this website building platform again in 2022. If you don't know where to start now that Lisa's range has grown so much, you can find my favorites in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com. Everything Lisa does feels elevated, elegant, innovative, and considered, and the eyeshadow palettes are no exception. This is not the first Lisa shadow launch. Her sparkly liquid Lurex liquid eyeshadow tubes arrived late last year. Love those, so perhaps I'll share a separate review if you're interested. The aesthetic of these slim gold palettes matches Lisa's passion for vintage makeup. The curves and grooves look like something that could have been on my grandma's vanity. Luckily, they're deceptively lightweight, with a mirror inside, cruelty-free, talc-free, and microplastic-free. There are five curated colorways. Sorcery sold out first in playful greens. See my green nail polish video if you'd like to match. Vega also sold out, cool and neutral cosmic smoky shades. And Myth is a nocturnal mix of lavender and amethyst. Lisa also has seamless blend eyeshadow brushes now, so let me know if you've tried any of them. There are six innovative shadow finishes. Although there are six shades in each, worth noting you don't necessarily get all six finishes in one. Seamless Matte is a soft, slightly luminous, easy to blend matte. Velvet is such a smooth, creamy matte, it feels more like a cream shadow. Metallic varies depending on the shade, from satin smooth, dense metallic shine to molten glitter. Luster has the same payoff, but smaller pearls for a more lustrous sheen. Luminous has small and large glittery pearls in a semi-transparent base for a wet look glow. And Top Coat is a completely clear base with sparkling pearls, perfect for a more subtle accent of glitter. A standout feature is that these palettes are not just refillable but customizable with 30 shades sold individually so you can swap them in and out and personalize it. No empty palettes for sale though, you do have to purchase an existing combination then make substitutions. I had a bit of a practice when I realized my Muse was out of order compared to the image online. Doesn't matter but just made it a bit confusing trying to get my head around the shade names and finishes. I used a bamboo skewer through the little holes in the back, the magnetic pans pop up on one side so they're easy easy to remove and even easier to pop back in. No shade names on the back though? Bit of guesswork involved. Four out of five palette names have corresponding lipsticks, so Muse was inspired by one of my favourites, Smoky Rosewood Velvet Muse. It's described as a painterly, washed world of romance in rosy hues from soft vintage pinks to warm plum browns. Exactly what I want as a pink, rose, plummy shadow person. Tea Room, a velvet, is a soft pink apricot. Tomorrow's Party, satin metallic, is a burnished warm rose. Vintage Mulberry, velvet, is a deep plum brown. Love in Venice, luminous, is rose gold. Cherubim, velvet, is a muted clay pink. And Taffeta Fan, a luster, is a delicate pearly champagne. Now, arm swatches for eyeshadow are not necessarily a fair indication of how a powder will perform on the eyes using a brush, but oh, don't these swatch so smoothly and evenly, you know they're gonna be good. Not the most pigmented shadows, but considering Lisa's whole approach and the way she designs with her fans in mind, that wasn't the plan. This is not a made by a makeup artist palette that requires makeup artist level skills. The textures are user-friendly and long wearing with very little fallout. Cinnabar was what most of you guessed I'd go for in my DMs, absolutely. The inspiration, ancient, natural pigments from the earth used in early forms of makeup, art, and pottery to match her velvet Cinnabar lipstick. Warm, rich, powerful, earthy shades. Raw Sienna, a seamless matte, is a light caramel. Bronzite, a satin metallic, is a rich, warm bronze. Fired Earth, seamless matte, is a deep, warm brown. Lost Summer, satin metallic, is a warm copper. Lots of warmth here. Deep Ochre, velvet, is a rich, earthy brown. 
and ritual top coat is a sprinkling of light gold sparkle. I saw Amanda Zed say that there's a level of restraint to these shadows. You can build them, Lisa's tutorial shows that beautifully, but they're ideal for subtle everyday combinations. Brushes and fingers both work well. Very impressed. On to the new True Velvets. I know many of you are already addicted to her intensely pigmented matte lipsticks. Not flat or drying, they still feel creamy, almost a little powdery, but I do find them more comfortable with some lip balm layered in between, blotting and building the colour. Cruelty free, fragrance free, such dense pigment, so you do have to be a bit careful, they can break, but it's only happened to one of mine in four years of collecting them. Velvet Rain is described as a rain soaked rose muted natural medium pink. I'm sorry, rain soaked rose muted medium pink? Does that not sum up the sort of rosy lipsticks that usually end up in my yearly favourites? Had very high hopes for this Lisa Rose, but it's actually much more vibrant than expected. A lot more pink than I usually go for, so I'll blot and blend it. Velvet Enchantment is called a muted red madder rose, like a classic fairy tale rush of colour. Again, muted red rose, I'm with you Lisa. She says this is her most wearable red yet, like taking her sheer red palazzo and blotting and blotting to back off the intensity. You still get the refreshing impact of wearing a red lipstick in a softer style and a great bitten shade if you blur it. Velvet Sorcery is Lisa's bewitching medium dusky clay rose, a chic, cool toned 90s mauve. The name and shade instantly made me think of Practical Magic, and everyone else must be in a 90s mood too because this sold out first. A light layer is stunning. Stunning. My lips but better on a cold autumn day. This rosy brown is definitely related to Velvet Muse, like its moody older sister. The other new shades were Velvet Pompadour, a lively medium pink, and Velvet Duchess, a decadent garnet red that I resisted for now given the state of my red lipsticks. Most of you asked me about that shade, but I want to hear how you'd rank it compared to other Lisa Reds. Sadly not comparing these to the rest of Lisa's range today, I need to save my skin ahead of end of year favourite season, but please let me know if you'd be interested in a separate big Lisa lipstick comparison in the new year. If you're new to the wonderful world of Eldridge, you can read up on my favourite products in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com. I built my website using a Squarespace template and it's been such a pleasure to partner with them again this year. I'm very grateful for their support and very grateful that they make it so easy for creatives to get set up with a great site. Simple tools, cool templates, I can insert links and YouTube videos seamlessly and I think I need to revisit this ranking because Velvet Sorcery might need a spot in my top 10. If you want to set up a website website, blog or online store over the holidays, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. I just feel lucky anytime we get to enjoy more Lisa creations. I can only imagine the possible palette themes we might see in the future. Fingers crossed there's a ribbon or jazz palette in the pipeline with rich red and burgundy tones, or even mourning with fiery orange and terracotta. What are you hoping to see in 2023? Maybe her enlivening blushes will be back and better than ever. What about a cream bronzer and maybe some matte liquid shadows? That's my wish list. Please leave yours in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.